So, what we are showing here are a few plots. Let's look at uh, one plot, which is the phase diagram illustrated here. Okay, this is still the portion of the iron carbon phase diagram. I'm illustrating the top would be gamma 4, so called FCC austenite structure of iron. It has a decent solubility of carbon in iron, right? Decent solubility. You see, okay, depending on temperature at uh, this 700 something, I, we can dissolve as much as around 0.76% uh, weight percent of carbon. You see? At a higher temperature, the solubility of carbon can be a little bit even higher. Okay? And then to squeeze at the very left side, you see I put a mark of alpha. We have alpha. That is a little bit of pure alpha phase. And then below this so called eutectoid temperature, what is our eutectoid temperature if you eyeball it roughly? Eutectoid is okay from this one gamma to alpha plus the asymptote, which is this is our eutectoid temperature, roughly 720 something. Okay, below this eutectoid temperature under equilibrium condition, we should be two phases one is alpha, one is the asymptote. Okay, and then we have a series of lines. Let's first look at the so-called T0 line. T0 line, as you see, is a dashed line. It's not exact stable equilibrium. It's so-called metastable case condition, dashed line. What T0 mean is, okay, the, the so-called equilibrium, uh, quote unquote, semi-equilibrium transformation temperature, as we illustrated. The other one would be TTT diagram, right? The TTT diagram, temperature, time, transformation. Okay, temperature, time, transformation, those so-called nose-shaped transformation. And the, the transformation is going from gamma on the left to gamma plus alpha. And eventually alpha plus cementide. Make sense? That's the transformation. And we, what it means is, okay, if we cool it relatively slowly, we are going to form going from gamma to alpha, and then eventually to form the alpha plus cementide. On the other hand, if we go to too fast cooling, remember on these types of TTT diagram, if we go from temperature, time, that's our cooling curve, Temperature time is as our cooling curve. If we go down fast enough, we may miss the tip of the nose, right? The transformation. What does that mean? We may miss the tip of the nose, which means if we cool fast enough, we will not have any of the gamma to alpha plus gamma or gamma alpha plus the cementide phase. We'll just directly run into the so-called MS and MF, the modern side phase transformation temperature curve. Okay, and uh, the transformation going from going from the gamma phase to the alpha prime phase. It's the equilibrium temperature is at, uh, as what we see here, is at uh, T0, right? The equilibrium temperature is at T0, which is I'm illustrating here, between gamma line and alpha prime line. The equilibrium temperature is T0. And then if we are a little bit uh, below T0 at MS, I have a so-called driving force. Make sense? I have a driving force for the phase to go from the gamma one into so-called alpha prime one. And we will explain what alpha prime is. Alpha prime is essentially alpha, the BCC ion, but has oversaturated uh, 
carbon in it. Otherwise, the carbon has to become cementite. But uh, it's going from gamma into alpha structure, but with oversaturated carbon. Okay. And the fundamental driving force, as we mentioned, is given as delta G equals the H term and then the difference in temperature and the equilibrium tem temperature. And uh, if we look at the Gibbs free energy curve, the gamma one is one curve, alpha one would be a little bit lower for the same composition. That's fundamentally the driving force. And what people find is the time, the time does not impact much the extent of tra transformation. And uh, typically people find a coherent interface um, between them. These type of transformation occurs not only in the iron carbon system, but also in the iron nickel system or even in ceramic system. Okay. And it's very, very important in the sense that uh, it's used for strengthening of the iron carbon alloy or for um, uh, toughening of the ceramic material like zirconium uh, dioxide. 